We cover weather and traffic every 10 minutes here on CBS 2 News. This morning, I think that overall this winter, you talked about our story, and we have not had very strong inversions. Right. Our temperatures have probably been a little bit warmer than average overall. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, January uh, as I'm, was above as I'm average. saying any of this. Yes. But all right, we, you know, we're getting thrown <laughs> back into winter here with the temps coming our way today in these next couple of days. Yeah, it was too good to be true. I mean, we need the cold temperatures. We need to keep the snow up in the mountains. In fact, we were just right. talking about last week about this time how, yeah, some of the ski resorts could have used some new snow, mm -hmm. especially with Bogus, and they got, got it, it over the weekend. Seeing a few lingering flurries or showers out there this morning. Uh, in fact, looking at some of the pictures, we snapped just one about uh, an hour ago or an hour before we started. Uh, around, uh, or excuse me, a few minutes before we started at five o'clock. So we were seeing some light snow then. We're seeing just a little bit of light snow now. So just a dusting expected at most locations. As Ron has mentioned, Ron O'Brien with uh, 670 KBOI not really impacting the commute this morning. A live look uh, over the downtown area. You can see it's accumulated on some of the sidewalks and yeah, in the center of the lanes there. But uh, overall, nothing too impactful as you kick off your uh, hump day. So wind speeds right now elevated in the lower valley. Northwest winds at 21 miles an hour and that's the direction we're going to see our flow come from as our storm system continues to pull off to the south and east. So expect these 10 to 20 even 30 mile per hour winds throughout much of the day today with cold temperatures. Wind chill is going to be a bit of an issue out there feeling like teens if not single digits for the mountain valleys. So cold and windy out there today after some of those light snow showers this morning staying relatively dry as uh, after this morning through Friday. So it starts to increase in clouds on Friday and some showers moving in over the week. Weekend. In fact, it'll likely stay cold enough with a uh, trough pattern set up over the uh, region for some snow over the weekend as well if, as we do see some uh, showers out there. So chances of moisture over the next seven days. Notice that uh, pretty insignificant on Saturday. There is a slight chance of a few snow flurries out there. A better chance on Sunday. Temperatures again hanging out in those mid to upper 30 should be snow, but it could be a bit of a rain snow mix. And then Monday, Tuesday, looking at just about a 40% chance of seeing any moisture out there. So again, generally a large trough pattern in the uh, western U.S. Snow impacting the Wasatch Front this morning. Showers starting to dissipate some, but I see, I've seen reports of as much as six to eight inches across some of the bench areas already this morning. So a bit of an impactful commute there. Here, looking at our next weather maker, moving through the Gulf of Alaska uh, or into the Gulf of Alaska this morning. Should start to slide down the coast as we head into Friday. Notice this general trough pattern, though, staying in place with the upper level wind patterns as we head into the weekend. This is Friday morning, starting to see some southwest flow with that next batch of weather that will likely be staying off the coast. And then colder temperatures likely settling in in the upper layers of the atmosphere as we head into early next week, which could keep the possibility of a few showers going next week as well. All right, so the uh, models having a hard time tracking any of the shower activity this morning. So just pockets of moisture expected, particularly in the mountain areas this afternoon. Could see a few flurries out there. Dry northwest flow moving in this afternoon, though, into Thursday. In fact, expecting really dry conditions tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, but those cold temperatures sticking around. Cold temperatures overnight tonight as well. So 34 for the high today, 15 overnight into tomorrow. 35 for the high tomorrow. 39 on Friday, increasing cloud cover. Some breezy winds likely as well as we've got a transition to a more active pattern over the weekend. Slight chance of some snow showers on Saturday. A snow chance on Sunday. Overall accumulations look very insignificant, though even with the active pattern in place, maybe an inch by the time these storms are out of here early next week here in the valley. Uh, hoping for much more in the mountain areas. In fact, a chance of snow, a few flurries today. Break tomorrow, increasing clouds with snow late in the day Friday. And then a chance of some snow showers off and on throughout the weekend and into early next week. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nate. You